So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a countdown from five, four, three, two, one, go. Alright, here we go. Woo! Alright. So that's pretty much the same game as before for the beginning, so I'm just gonna be rolling. I'm gonna be a bit more precise because I have a mouse for the camera, so mm -hmm. it's gonna be a bit more smooth. And that's Discord, and I'm very sorry about that. But here we go. All right, so we're hitting this bully because he's a bad boy. And also we need to buy a birthday gift for our sister, and that's how we do in Fable. We hit things mm -hmm. to get money. They're like a big bag yeah. of coins, and when you hit them, you gain money. That's amazing. Oh, I'm an idiot. Never mind. All right, so here we I talk to my dad. What? There you go. I get two gold coins. Now I'm going to talk to a husband that's cheating on his wife. I do not do yeah. this. Uh, it's not very good. Cool. Um, the start but of the game is basically oh, almost identical to um, oh, the Xbox that's version bench. of the game. But basically, as soon as we finish guild training, things are going to veer off in, a, in another direction. You'll be... Yep. There you go. We'll be rushing through. Yeah, so that's the guard. He should chase me if I go near him, but I'm not going to go near him. Mm -hmm. So that's very fine. Alright, so here's Theresa. Um, it's her birthday. Everything's amazing. Life's amazing. She's like 14 or something. Woohoo. We get the bear. Everything's fine. It's not a bear, actually. These are chocolates. But somehow, the village is burning. So... We're just going to find our dad. And, well, it turns out that our dad is dead. That's also very bad, but we're just going to rush through this sequence. Here we have Maze saving us, but we're not going to see it. By the way, he's a traitor. I don't know if you knew that, but hey. Mm -hmm. So that's so the guild. Chatter, right, no. by the way, the, um, You'll be sharing this the movement this in this game is a lot more precise on the PC. It's time to wake up. Um, Again, just because of that mouse and keyboard, uh, the movement's a lot more fluid. Like, you can actually sort of direct where you're going a bit better rather than having to sort of jab a, a control stick left and right to roll. Yeah. You can just, um, so like you can thread the needle there, all that's good. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And plus the frame rate helps as well. Yeah. Well, this game is 60 FPS, but hey, we've got the stream yeah. in 30 FPS, so... There you go. Mm -hmm. You'll just have to take our word for it. Yeah. So, uh, I'm fighting this dummy. Really tough fight. I get a stick because he's really tough. And now... Yeah. Uh, and by the way, earlier on we punched Whisper right. again, like last run. It's set up for a trick later that's going to save a minute. Um, because the guild has a four strike rule on not being, like, hitting bad things. Um, yeah. Or, like, not hitting friendly NPCs, so... Yeah, and that's um, the setup. Fast to punch Whisper. Yeah, that's the setup for the first, like trick and then we're gonna do it a second time to save mm -hmm. 30 seconds 30 seconds speed. each i think so uh it's a minute and then 30 seconds it's about right. and a half total, which is so that's the tlc target system which is very bad so i sw i whiffed i swinged in the wrong direction all right that's a double hit that's pretty oh, cool you got a double hit nice there we go that wasn't too bad well that done. was pretty good bit of the flubbing at the start. All dead. yeah the nice the tlc whiff it's an amazing whiff. All right, here we go. So now uh, we're going to be a teenager, which is amazing. Um, mm -hmm. Hey, we're like bigger. Um, I don't know if we're smarter, but bed, lazy bones. Uh, yeah. Now we ha also have the right to get a weapon. And our first weapon is going to be a iron, an iron longsword. It's pretty much useless. We're going to swap as soon as we can for another yeah, we use sword. It for like one one boss battle and that's about it yeah actually like two i guess but they're mostly tutorials so doesn't really Whisper's count not a boss yeah she's, she's like a fight old. all right <laughs> so that's the fight uh, I have to hit her seven times she's a bit boring so sometimes she jumps backwards and that's bad but it should be fine mm -hmm. We're also rolling towards whisper just here just so Ooh, nice like, um, okay that happens back. sometimes the camera just like I'll hit you next time. Like I don't yeah, know. I know what you mean. It's like blah. it's terrible. Well done. Never mind. I rolled to the side. Now it's the real fight. I'm just gonna hope yeah, for her to be. Nah, she's not a cool girl. Nice. 
How did that get through? Nice. This, this kind of thing right here is why we. <laughs> okay, so this is Whisper. She decides to block. Well, I can't do anything. She's just blocking. Then meet me by the archery yeah. range. To All right. Yeah. So now we're going to perform this trick right. called uh, training skip, basically, because we're skipping training. Yeah. So that's what we punch with before earlier for this trick. So he's gonna say hit three dummies and then he's gonna say see how many you can hit in a minute. But if we hit um if we hit our four friendly NPC limit. There you go. You guys. And now he just like kinda of bugs out. Reset. And there you go. Next, we will I don't even think it's a bug. Ways. I think it's intended because he's just like, what do you think you're doing? Do that yeah. Test, you'll be disqualified and then but, but his model is like resetting its position. Oh, it's yeah. very fun. So we're gonna do it again. Okay, please. There you go. What do you think you're doing? So, what you think you're doing? Yeah, normally we would run the game in French, but uh, mm -hmm. this is gonna be English. Also, uh, pardon me for my English. I am not a native English speaker. I'm French, so French helps mm -hmm. me a lot. So I'm sorry. I know sometimes it's a big, bo it's a bit boring when someone's not confident when he's talking. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try to be like as fluent as possible. And that's Maze. Good. He's You're also quick. boring. But we should get him, please. You're getting nice. Maze will just barely miss. Try to get five out of seven. Some anger into it. There you go. So now we're just gonna hit him with lightning. And we can use lightning through That's rocks, enough. so it's also useful here. Yeah. All right, here we go. So now actually the first big difference from the OG version, I'm gonna use a glitch called Hotshot Glitch, and it's very basically an experience glitch. And what it does is like, it allows me to buy the same spell but twice. Ah, now choose the spell. So you your experience oh, and there you go. Down. Undo and also hit yes at the same Where time. There you go. And there you go. And I uh, got. And it's named after the person who found it, Hotshot Wire. Yeah. So what he's done is he's not only bought uh, Assassin Rush, but he's bought it twice. So he's technically in minus 200 XP right now. Yeah. Um, but he has Assassin's Rush 2, which is going to prepare him super far, which is going to be really handy for the early part of the game. So as you can see, it's way better than uh, than Assassin Rush 1. Uh, there's yeah. also an, an alternative route, which keeps Assassin Rush like 1, and then you get Rush 3 later. But I'm not going to use it, because it's different, and I don't know how to do that. <laughs> it's different, and I don't like change. Exactly. Uh, not really, though. All right, so it's the Wasp Queen. It's uh, an easy fight, I guess. Uh, just have to clear these wasps as fast as possible. That was slow, uh, but it's totally fine. We'll I'm get him next time. I'm going to try to snipe her if I can. I'm not going to snipe her. There you go. That's good. All right. So I want the Wasp Queen to go to the right side here. There you go. Because if she goes left, uh, it's a bit slower. So. She's on the right side, everything's fine. There you go. So while you're doing that, if I may, can I explain the uh, economy system in this game? Oh yeah, sure. Um, okay, so when I mentioned the economy is broken in this game in the last one, it's not quite broken in the original, but it's very broken in this game. We're heading to Bowstone, which is the first town of the game. And um, we've got some scuffed Brexit-style economy going on here. Of <laughs> basically, what you can do is you can buy an item in bulk, and because the merchant has an item in bulk, he'll sell the item for really cheaply. So for apples, it'll be like one gold for 100 apples. But um, if you buy it in bulk, you'll pay bulk price for every single one of that item. So you bought all the apples, 100 apples for one gold each. Now he has no apples, so you can sell them back. And because he has no apples, he wants apples. So um, he'll pay you a lot more money, so you can just make a profit of that but by buying stuff in bulk, selling it back in bulk, and then you'll just make some money. You'll see it here. So what he's going to do is he's going to sell his potions just for a bit of starting gold. He's going to buy apple pies and grain sacks, and he's going to sell them back, and he has just made 3,000 gold. So he's going to buy some potions with that, a rod and a spade. Oh, please. There you go. Yeah, basically traders, you, you have to see them as like big oh, right, ATMs, yeah. like walking ATMs. Just talk yeah. to them and it, you get free money out of it. 
That was a small time bank, but we'll go to a, a larger bank later. Right All right. Place. It'll be the HSBC. Oh. 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 Oh, I think they... And he's going to use that gold to buy an ebony longbow, which is going to make um, the next quest a lot easier than what you just saw before. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you've been using them wrong. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So we take Protect Orchid Farm because it's faster, and we boast so that we can be outside. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now we're just going to head to Orchid Farm, which is, well, the first, like, real quest of the game, I guess. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Um, and uh, uh, Rush 2 is going to, yeah. All right. Uh, with ahead. Rush, um, in this map in particular, because the wasps are so fast, you can't actually rush much in the map, so he's going to be rolling a lot. Um, yeah, I can just show you rush, what happens. I can just show yeah. you, like, it seems like there's nothing, and then I just rush backwards. Yeah, it's not fun. Yeah. Also, you can do things like that. Okay, doesn't work. Never mind. Normally, you That's should, risky. Like, that could crash the game. <laughs> like, actually, like it would like turn your model mid-roll. That'd be a bit fun, yeah. but sadly, it didn't work. Oh, there you go. That was mm -hmm. a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. That's a good backdash. Um, there's a bit of RNG about whether the wasps follow you or not. It depends on what spawn. Uh, we I got lucky got there. Stop. Got oh, free. man up. There's a guy following him, but yeah, the bandit is just too to slow. Up. Yeah, the bandit is just too slow. It's not gonna catch up, sadly, or I don't know. Hopefully. All right. So this quest is way easier than the than in the OG version, just because I have mm -hmm. this. OP bow. Okay, nice arrow yeah, there. Yeah, you can one-hit everything. I'm <laughs> just gonna... If you miss. I can just, like, that kill them instantly. Oh. Please. Oh, playing Thank that you. risky, mate. Yeah, never mind. Didn't happen. Alright. Just gonna zap the guards, too. Some more bandits there you go. Are approaching. More the bandits. The only real threat from this point on is either you your guard friend's pass. firing an arrow in your back, or... Um, the archer bandits, but as long as you don't miss any shots from here, it's basically free. Yeah. And yeah, you just zap the guards in between to sustain your Some combat multiplier, which is that nine party. you see in the corner. Um, yeah. And then we'll kill them later for a little bit more XP and multiplier. Yeah, my goal right now is 12, and I have to hit 12 during the whisper fight, which comes up like right now. So yeah, I hope I'll be able to calculated get. I'll, uh, I hope I'll end. get that. So, here we go. Be fine. Go on. Try to hit me with a flush. All right. So you Thank can you. do it. I'm still. All right, we should be fine. Yeah, we should be fine. All right, so that was the whisper fight Damn. again. Very hard. <coughs> there we go. So that was nice. protect orchid farm, and just like in the OG version, we're not gonna go to the guild quite yet. Uh, we're just gonna go to the next colors gate, and then go back to the guild, and then TP back to the colors gate to save some movements. And we're gonna take our first, I mean first, yeah, our first real upgrades. Right now mm -hmm. I, I only have Rush 2 and basic stats. Oh, no wasps are following, that's amazing. Nice. Does not happen a lot, that's pretty cool. Okay, so here again, a few bandits blocking the way. Just zap, zap them. There you go. Alright, this one is a bit... Alright, there you go. So I'm gonna get uh, in the next area. I'm just gonna free three slots on my hotbar. The hotbar is a blessing, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. The hotbar is one of the big improvements that the PC version has because it means you can um, use spells just by pressing a button on the numbers yeah. rather than actually having so to I right So I freed trigger. three spells, I mean three slots for three spells. Um, the first one's going to be multi-strike. It's a ver very sim simple spell. Uh, uh, physique uh, allows it's you basically an upgrade on your speed next sword hit. In both ranged and uh, melee nope. combat. There you go. Magic power increases your capacity for storing mana. Okay, get okay, a bunch of upgrades. We won't right, explain we all of them in detail, but... Alright, the second um, one is summon, and as you've seen in the previous run, if you were there, uh, summon is used for a certain trick called summon clipping. Uh, and if we use summon clipping in the next area, in a pretty precise spot, uh, we can get 
something that was left unused for ages and that is going to be discovered by me which is the Sword of Aeons. Turns out Jack of Blades forgot it here and well, oh, nice. Jack of Blades just kind of forgot it there and uh, I'm just gonna steal it. He's fine, he doesn't really mind, so I'm just gonna use it for um, a big part of the run. And I want my wasp to kill this bandit here, please. Nope. Oh, Alright, there you go. There we go. Nice. So now my summon card. is um is a bandit, which is a larger hitbox and it's and it allows me to clip through well bigger things. Uh mm -hmm. basically doors. I'm gonna clip through these doors to go fast. This is the plan. And if all goes according to plan, I should go fast. Also, yeah, uh, Berserk is this uh, big red angry boy spell. Uh, it gives yeah. me more damage, makes me unkillable. Coming. Uh, I can roll faster. I can knock enemies down even though it's not really amazing, but I can do it. Yeah. And I can also you behead enemies. That's pretty cool. I could have used that in my last run. <laughs> Ooh, that's multi-strike. Never mind, that's fine. Alright, so here's a Balverine. We don't really care about this Balverine, so we're just gonna ignore it. <clears throat> we're gonna see plenty of Balverines later in the run, so don't worry. If you really love Balverines, you'll see a lot of them. Frames, by the way. Yeah, the Assassin Rush makes you invincible, so we can use that in a few places, including here. There we go. So in the next area, I'm just going to free these traders from um, their life, basically. Uh, well, I'm gonna kill this one and it's this one because if I don't, well, they start talking and talking is slow and I don't want them to talk. So I just kill them and it works fine. Works great. <coughs> there you go. Oh, okay. Now he's following me. All right, here we go. So now they're f kind of following me, but not fast enough so I can rush. But they're yeah. following me fast, generally. Not this time, though. Mm -hmm. So yeah, here I'm not going to use like Berserk. chasing you, so the traders are actually in no danger at all. Yeah. Because they're all far behind. He's actually full health. Uh, the other two, well, they were in danger. Not anymore. Um, but yeah. So now is the troll fight. This version of Aeons has been nerfed. So I'm going to deal l way less damage. And it's going to take yeah. quite some time to kill this troll. But it's still a very powerful weapon. So here we go. Yeah, it's like two and a half times weaker or something crazy, but it's still super powerful. It's still like the most powerful thing we can get in this part of the game. Ah. Oh, please. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so I've been quite fast, so I'm going to try something risky. Oh, don't do that. No. <laughs> now, I That's think we're good. Late. I'm on a day and night cycle, and I think the shops may be still open. They are. <gasps> oh my All right. <laughs> got him. You risky bastard. <laughs> but I got it, so it was worth it. Ooh. My poor heart. <laughs> All right, that. You're a little bit short on gold, by the way. You might want to yeah. do an extra buy sell or two. Yeah, it was uh, it was scuffed. My bad. Also, don't forget those potions there. There we go. Oh. You know what would have been worse? Is if you actually got there in time, but then the doors closed on you. Yeah, that happens a lot, actually. But that's, like, <laughs> terrible. But that's fine. All right, so we got there. We've got 40k gold, uh, by the way. Um, this is what I meant when I said, like, traders are basically ATMs. I just talked to that guy, and boom, I've got, like, 40k gold in the bank. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that took, like, 30 seconds, and he, he does have just, like an absurd amount of gold that will see him through most of the All game. Right. So that's so summon clipping. Like um, yeah, mouse and keyboard makes it just easier. Oh yeah, timer's stopped. P 
Pepe hands. But don't worry, because the run is still alive, alright? Yeah. I see, so. I see how this works, making him look really good. Like, oh wow, you got a 112 or something, that's great. <laughs> alright. No. Ah, oh, that's terrible, never mind. So I grab an Ages of um, Skill Potion, I think, in English, not really sure. Um, it gives yeah, me gives me 1k experience, like still skill experience, multiplied by my combat multiplier. So I'm going to use it when I have a lot of combat multiplier. And I'm just going to get a lot of experience just at once. And that's yeah, there's one specific <coughs> quest that we um, do it on, and we're going to have like four potions we use there. We have a might, a skill, and two will, and that's just going to give us a crap ton of XP. Yeah. And now I'm just TPing back to the area I just wear. Mm -hmm. And my Berserk fades out just at the right moment. Amazing. So now I'm just going to summon clip through this next door. It's basically the same door as before, so I'm just going to use it. I'm going to do the same methods. All right. Nice. There we go. Now I'm going to grab a second potion, which is uh, an Ages of Will potion. So I get Will experience. Mm -hmm. There you go. I go through the pond because it's really hot in Albion, so you know. <laughs> cool off a little bit. Those exactly. Clothes, uh, uh, he stands. Never mind. He decided to disappear. Cycle. Yeah, couldn't get it. Never mind. We'll get him next time. All right, and now I'm gonna get the third potion, which is the Ages of Strength one. All right. Nice and fancy explosion. Oh, come on. He decided to turn twice. Ah, uh, never mind. All right, so, so it's going to be a similar thing we do here that we did in OG in that we're going to... Basically, Twinblade operates on a timer. He can only really be damaged when his sword's going into the ground. So we are going to wait out a little bit and then Berserk damage boost a little bit if we're risky. And then um, attack him in the back. So yeah, we'll go down the proof a little bit. Sorry, go on. And there you go. So there there's go. a risk of me dying during the cutscene, but it didn't happen, so we're good. Yeah, you'd be surprised how often it happens because the, the bandits start running while the fade out happens. So one of them could just run up and just swipe you in the face. And yeah. kill you. I mean, it doesn't um, happen too much if you're careful, but it's ha it's yeah. happened a few times. All right, so I'm going to clear two slots there. Mm -hmm. And by the way, just to add, because we never actually technically started the quest, if we was to return the, to this map l uh, later, um, we would most likely softlock the game because um, it would start a quest that doesn't Accuracy exist anymore. Allows you to cause so, more um, damage in range. Like all of the gates still shut and everything, but. Um, also, whoa, what were you doing there? Were you getting the. Arena yeah, the, the white Balvarine upgrades. But a bit earlier. I mean, it doesn't change anything, so. Yeah, maybe he loses like a few seconds, but it's nicer. Alright. All right, so we're talking to Maze. Stairs are boring. Um, here you go. So that's Maze. Oh, He's like, check your hot bar. Oh, what's happened? Oh, you don't have physical shield on there. Oh, uh, oh, what did I do that? Never <laughs> mind. So skills, magic, physical shields. <laughs> Never mind. Nothing's happened. Everything's fine. I just want to save you from the same fate that I did of dying <laughs> at a random point in the run that you've never died to before. I mean. It should have worked, but I don't know. Never mind. Yeah. All right, so clear out the way, and now we're going to save um, the archaeologist, which is supposed to be a friend of Maze. Uh, he's not really a friend of Maze, but we don't know that. Yeah. So we are Maze, on the AKA Mister Not a Traitor. Yeah, we're um, on the dark side of the force, but we don't know that, so it's fine. Oh, I love that album. Oh, yeah. <coughs> <laughs> also a nice clip. Yeah. These doors, the demon doors, they have um, a very specific hitbox. So all the mm -hmm. clips are pretty much the same on yeah. all demon doors. But most of the demon doors don't have um, a loading zone behind them. So 
clipping inside doesn't give you anything. You're, you're just stuck there most of the time. Yeah, it's only quest ones that really let you in. But only that one seems to be useful because the graveyard one just doesn't. doesn't well, you can uh, clip for the one in the profits, but it's a bit risky. Oh and yeah, doesn't change really. And it saves like 0.5 seconds if done perfectly. <coughs> yeah. All right. So and now yeah, that's another thing to point out. The berserk angry like aura thing is actually an angry face. Yeah. I actually discovered it by speedrunning this game. I didn't know that. <laughs> Also, so, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. didn't you say that you never played the TLC content before you started running? Yeah, I never I actually played OG when I was a child and then I, I I discovered the run and I was like, hey, I wanna do that. And then I discovered TLC. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. And your life has never been the same since. Oh no. I mean <laughs> oh yes, I don't know. Oh maybe. This is the Yeah, exactly. So, uh, we're in Northall Glades, so we just grab the quest and go back there. It's uh, handy. And here we go. Just go back there. Uh, we'll kill the, the Balvrines with uh, the bow we just bought in the guild shop. Uh, and not with Aeons, because Aeons is way less powerful as in OG. Mm -hmm. And this bow is powerful. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna kill those Valverines. Oh, please. Thank you. Alright, sometimes they can like run and you miss your shot and it's terrible. But we're mm -hmm. fine. Alright. So now we have to fight the white Valverine. Epic fight. Good Gamer fight. moves. Well done. Oh, come on. Oh, come that on. Wasn't a game oh my god, this is terrible. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That was amazing. So. Here we go. We're going to do the same thing again because she obviously didn't understand that we're just stronger. Oh, come on. You're boring. Damn thing. I mean, the Balverine, obviously. I'll take that as a personal insult. Oh, I'm sorry. That's You're not right. boring. You. Alright, everything's fine. Yeah. So, we um, upgrade our bow with the silver augment. Alright, please. That Balverine so, in the next map, we're gonna fight the white Balverine. And since we have this silver augment, we're gonna do much more damage. Oh, there's a thing gonna pick up so we're go just gonna do way more damage with this silver augment and we're gonna kill the white balverine pretty damn fast <coughs> all right here we go so that's the white balverine we're gonna snipe it from across the map basically here you go Kobe exactly and we're gonna get one more shot on this balverine right there it's going to be punished by my arrow and then we shoot at this Balverine and we should be fine for 21 combat multiplayer I think oh well this yeah, Balverine is oh we're not fine uh, all right there you go all right so I've got <laughs> summon on the <laughs> on five different keys <laughs> Normally, I'd have summon on four different keys, but since I kind of screwed up my pod bar, uh, I have it on five different keys. Why do I have it on five different keys? Because, uh, well, summon gives you a certain amount of experience every time you use it. Three experience multiplied yeah, by multiplier. your combat multiplier, exactly. So when I get like 100 combat multiplier, every time I use summon, I get like 300 combat multiplayer and it can spam spam that as much as I want so I'm gonna get a mm -hmm. lot of experience when yeah, I have... Yeah, just because it's bound to a bunch of different keys. Um, oh, by the way, um, we're gonna use the hotshot glitch again here um, in a second. So we're gonna get everything we need first. We're gonna get in flame three and keep a note of that. And then we're going to... I say we. You're going oh. to um, do that to get in flame four. And, and also do that to get Multi-Strike 
three. three. Yes. Uh, so I got in Flame Four and Multi th Multi Strike Three. And Flame Four is a huge upgrade. Normally we shouldn't be able to get it because it's like so expensive. But mm -hmm. thanks to Hotshot Wire, we can actually buy it, and it makes the entire arena just much easier, much much yeah, easier. Yeah, because. Because Arena is sort of like an AoE fire spell, and as you level it up, your damage and range get increased. It's so useful for the Arena where you're in a small area with lots of enemies, which right. usually don't have that much health. And this is Force Push. Um, as its name suggests it, I'm pushing things away. With the Force? Yes, uh, with my Force. And I'm going to use it during the Arena to get uh, some combat multiplayer. Just just like during OG, basically. Uh, but I'm just going to get way higher multipliers because I have Inflame 4, and Inflame 4 is just broken. All right, here we go. Also, while I'm in the arena, I'm just going to grab <coughs> uh, two things. Well, first thing, potions, because I need them very bad. And... A second silver augment because I'm gonna fight more Balvrains and these augments, well, they don't really like add on to one another, they multiply each other. So before that, I was doing three times the damage to white Balvrains, now I'm gonna do nine times the damage, and that's going to be um, a lot of damage done to white Balvrains. Indeed. So if you like um, the Triforce from League of Legends, uh, you're going to be very happy. Because like we're going to deal. League of Legends, isn't that Zelda? Yeah, but it, it also, it's an item in a, <laughs> in a league, and yeah, it deals tons of damage. So it's literally the, <laughs> like the, how do you call that? The subtitle for the item, it deals ton tons of damage. And yeah, that guard is very funky because it's stuck there, and we're just like showing dominance. I think he's like, kind of hot like you see that fire there he's probably burning his ear a little bit that's so rude of you yeah there you go we're talking ah. to him hey what's up so now's the um, balverin uh, uh the balverin the arena it's going to be a bit hard but we'll get it in the corner there is combat multiplayer going absolutely hand with force push. Um, we have just passed, well he's just passed his best for combat multiplayer. Um, and that took like 20 seconds and it's only going to go up from here. Also, um, force push allows you to basically like get rid of the dying animations of many enemies and we're going to use that to just go faster. Yeah. All right. So now, yeah. And that's the wave. Good wave. Good wave. Good wave. Good wave. There you go. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I'm not talking much, but um, it's a bit like yeah, the precise. Yeah, like a big focus point because if you mess up for just a second, you can lose potentially a whole round to it from getting hit or something. All right, here we go. So now we're we get to see Whisper, which is very boring. Yeah, I mean, which in the corner, mate. who is very boring? All right, perfect. Right, she's so right there. How powerful it is in this wave, uh, the inflame, because you can just one hit every single battle in one hit before you have to like either double inflame them or use a burn and just awful. Having fun. So, um, double silver augment. Uh, this is a white balverine. Ah. That was a white balverine. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a, a white balverine. It's two. Ah. There we go. 
so that was another two white Balverines. Oh. Oh. How do you loot up there? Yeah, it's scary. If you use a spell right before getting an item, you can get loot locked, which is very bad. Because yeah, you're like stuck you, forever. It's, yeah, because it's like you can't use the item and the um and it's thinking you're using a spell set so locking all your other keybinds. Um we'll also probably see the power of summon spamming. Is, is it here or is it do uh, I do it later, so okay, okay. it's gonna be later. And uh audio warning when that happens because Yeah. And you're still alive. Alright. So I'm talking to Whisper to get rid of Berserk fast. Alright, here we go. And what he's also doing here is he's actually um, inflaming at a very specific point to um, cancel the animation of them falling down because if they get hit as they're getting up, they won't actually die. They have to get hit a second time, or a third time in this case, so you can see he, they didn't take any... Uh, Thing, and then he's also using force push to cancel the animation of them falling down. There you go. Oh, you're still alive? Wait, are you still alive? Alright, never mind. So we've got 100 combat multiplayer, Pog Champ. And now is the Bandit Wave. It's um, basically the same, more of Inflame, more of a Whisper being annoying. Alright. <coughs> Alright, so that's the funny wave. I like this wave. It's pretty cool. There you go. This that's such a clean wave, like that is so much, so much fun to see. Just how like powerful and flame can be. Where are you at? Oh, okay. Oops. So yeah, We're same as a bit of a uh, uh, cool. with the uh, yeah. spinners, who will come into play very soon. Our yep. All right. Bless RNG. Right, don't die. Pippi hands. Oh. Alright, so you we're screwed. Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, I'm fine. It's boring, but I'm fine. Yeah. Sometimes the blades just decide to do a super hit, and I lose my entire yeah. combat multiplayer. I mean, like instead of doing four hits, it does eight, and there's basically nothing you can do to yep. calculate it. But now it's not happening anymore normally, so we should be fine. Yeah, so at this point, it's like we're already game over, so if it happens again, it's not the end of the world. So he's just damage boosting in those blades, make the rock draw fights easier because they tend to be pretty in that final period. Alright, so he's oh, not no dead. Alright. Don't do me. No, he's, I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't know why he didn't die, but hey, there you go. Yeah, I think he had like 10 health or something. Yep. So that's a Rakanox. Um, well, this is a Rakanox, yeah. Nothing much, like, to do. I mean, I'm just gonna. There's nothing much, but. He's going to be very specifically positioning himself to manipulate the AI of Rakanox, hitting a very specific amount of times to not bug out uh, animation. And then, um, while waiting, he's going to go up with the Can we go see the sun spawn? Is he spawning? Um, mm, it's not really useful. I'm yeah, just going to wait. I mean, it's just with, it's with this load, isn't it? So I just stand in her legs and then hit her as she turns, or he, I don't know, but... <coughs> I don't see, because it's King Scorp Scorpion. Oh yeah. There was once a Scorpion Queen, but she doesn't exist anymore. Oh, sad. We'll get him next time. Yep. Alright. There you go.
So that was a Rockanox. Nothing huge. That's the yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty huge. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It was not a tough fight, but hey, here we go. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So now we're fighting Whisper. Um, she can also be a bit boring, but if I just rush behind her, there you go. Yeah, it took us quite a while. Oh, it took quite a while for me to figure that out because um, originally we thought it was RNG. Like occasionally we'd get it. But before we would have to wait for her to jump, wait for her to throw grenades, rush towards her, hope she didn't jump again, and it was pretty bad. But um, and then there was like this one thing that could maybe save ten seconds if you're lucky. Um, but then I found out, oh yeah, you just literally have to hit her in the back and you're fine. That was yeah. A, that was a good day. Yeah, that was a pretty pog. So now I'm just steeping to Barrow Fields and not to the guilds because I have to talk to my sister, and my sister is in the gray house. And this is the gray house. So I'm gonna meet her. Hey, sister, how, how's it going? Uh, she's just gonna tell me shenanigans about Jack of Blades, our mother and all that. Okay, thank you. Uh, but right now we don't really care because we've got a lot of experience to spend and we're just gonna go to the guild and use all this uh, experience to buy everything we need, basically. So the first thing is going to be physique, so damage basically. Then speed, then a bit of accuracy, but I can't get the last level because I dropped my combat multiplier. Yeah, you might be able to hot shot glitch that later. Yeah. Rush max, obviously. Also multi arrow. I can't get that, that's amazing. Uh, Alright. All right, so we haven't got everything we need, but we're fine. All right, let's go. This is where we're going for Solus. Uh, I, I am. Hope. I'm not going for Solus. Sadly, three? I've With got Berserk's three? three. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going for Solus. All right, you get to see, <laughs> you get to see the best weapon in the game. Uh, objectively. This is why I'm here. Otherwise, you'd be in trouble. Oh, hello there. Yeah, obviously. Uh, thank you. <laughs> No, All right. Any time, friend. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> we get to see the best weapon in the game, which is uh, the Solus Greatsword, which was a weapon meant for dragon riders, I think, or something. Yeah, I can't remember the exact law behind it. Deep law. So I'm just gonna buy some diamonds and then sell them back. Some winch economy, and then I've got 96k. There you go. And I get Solus Greatsword. I'm gonna equip it later because right now I can't really equip it. And right now it's not changing many things. So. Yeah, we don't actually fight too many things with our sword or sword that would do enough damage yeah. until like right Maze, you. which would be like the point where you probably equip it. I've never seen anything like oh, it. nice. So that was a backdash. Yeah. Really cool. Are we gotta go for. You gonna get Barry a clip first try? Yeah, normally. Yeah, you are. All right, there's a clip here that we should do, but I'm very bad at it for some reason. But I'm gonna try. All right, there you go. <laughs> that was just RNG manipulation. Yeah, exactly. This is the real clip. You, you were clipping your sword into that minion there. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, terrible. Never mind. I'm really bad at this clip for some reason. It's right, you just went for Barry, clip, uh, Barry skip skip. Yeah, exactly. Barry skip. That was a very smart move. Yeah. Seven head right there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we go. So, um, I'm gonna fight two minions down there. I'm on a timer right now. Um, a 30 seconds timer, I think. I have to go oh, down. Nice. If the minions, if any other minions reach the pier, you have to kill them. Oh, nice. Um, but basically, none of the minions are going to reach the pier, so you just need to kill these last two. Yep. So here we go. You saved me. I saved him. And now, normally, I would TP back to the guild and then uh, TP back here. And that puts me right at the entrance of the area. But since this is an RTA run, I'm not going to do this because this would save uh, in-game time. But we're not counting in-game time. 
So there you go. Just good old running. He saved him, indeed. That was a very brave thing to do. <coughs> Alright, there you go. Oh yeah, Berserk 3 cycles, Pug Champ. Ah, oh, that's gonna be terrible. <coughs> Alright, never mind. Good luck in Graveyard Pass. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Alright. I think it's actually fine, because you run out, like, at the when you just reach the top of the stairs. Uh, so it's we'll probably see. best not to go for Brick Clip, because otherwise it will mess up your timings. Yep. Alright, so, so here's the first, like, really boring RNG heavy part quest. The second one is right at the end. Uh, this guy's really boring, by the way, so I don't like him. I'm just gonna please kill him. Thank you. It's alright, he was dead on the inside. He was just like the undead. Yep, exactly. So now I'm just gonna dig up this thing right here, uh, which is the Nos Nostro's sword. And he needs his helmet, gear, or whatever. I don't know the English names, very sorry. Yeah, it's, uh, his helmet was in the house. His armor is here. Yeah, and his sword was in the ground, and his shield is um, right there. Right there, which is fishing. in the river. Um, yeah, RNG minigame, um, really fun. Everyone loves that. Um, I have to wait light, green light. until. Oh, that's a bad fish. Yeah, that's a very bad fish. All right, there you go. Nice. Ooh. Please. There you go. Alright, it wasn't too bad, but. Yeah. You know, could have been better. Basically, it's, it's RNG how, like, how much he's biting back and how much you have to, um, to click. But we got it, so it's fine. Alright, here we go. So now we're gonna get a lot of undead spawning around uh, in this area. <clears throat> but if we don't rush, we should be fine. Oh. So I'm not going for the swag clip. I don't have as much swag as Etim, who got it last run. But uh, well, I paid for it by dying like three times almost yeah. in the run. <laughs> It's karma, I guess. Alright, here we go. Second bit of RNG, even though not as terrible. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. wait for the undeads to, like, come in the circle. Here, like, oh, This circle right there. And I can wait, like, for a long time if they, if they decide to just not come. That's pretty fucking good. Yeah. Oops. Alright. I pushed this one out. Yeah, I'm sorry about this word. But it was really good. Like, being able to inflame there is uh, pretty huge. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna hit myself later, just like Dobby in Harry Potter. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's actually quite annoying. It's only recently that I found out that um, the only version of the game where the undead there aren't like aggressive and run straight towards you is um, is TLC, which is like the most run version. Like in Xbox, it's fine. I'm pretty sure in TLC, Xbox is fine, and on Anniversary, it's fine. Yeah, I remember Clean Sarah talking about how better it is in Anniversary because, as we all know, Anniversary is a way better speed game. But TLC is um, popular, but also sometimes a bit boring. Oh, there you go. Nice nymph. Alright, here we go. So more movements. 
and then I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my mother, who's um, trapped in the prison. I'm gonna try to save her, and then it's not gonna work, sadly. And I'm gonna be stuck in the prison for about ten minutes. How'd you get down here? Oh, okay. All right, here we go. So we got s trapped by Jack of Blades, and uh, we're here. But like he's taking a whiz with a we'll sword in his hand. I would definitely, definitely, He'll definitely not recommend that. <laughs> that could go very Got wrong very hell. fast. Peak. Yeah. Temper Tibbs, temper. You should keep all that energy. For nice later. mouth You'll animations, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like he's biting. And don't cooking. try any of that funny yeah. will stuff. It won't work in here. Yeah, the I know boss that. made sure of that. Also, just a quick reminder, there is $600 worth of bounty that you, yes you, the person listening to this, can claim. All you need to do is find a skip for prison and, um, and graveyard. There's $300 on the line for each. So this guy's talking. So we're, ch we're chicken chaser? Prize go to save pretty little whisper. Yeah, we you? saved a uh, pretty little whisper. Yeah, uh, nice expressions. <laughs> this is birthday today. I've got him. You gotta do the uh, <laughs> what's his name from Toy Story, the really wheezy <laughs> penguin. You gotta do the oh. scary laugh span. <laughs> Alright, that's perfect. So, uh, what we're going to do is a racing a race around the prison. Then we're gonna do a little mini sneaking game uh, to get a code for a book. Then we're gonna fail at finding the key. Then we're gonna get back into the prison, into our cell. Very comfy. We're gonna spend another year in there. Uh, on this bed, basically. We don't have anywhere to go. Then we're gonna race again, and then uh, we can keep on with the run. So you can come back in a year or so, and uh, I'll be there waiting for you. Look lovely, yeah, because we'll be scum. here for the 16th Time anniversary marathon. Out. Yeah, it's obviously. In real life, Fable Speedrun. Oh, that was a nice freeze. You. Win, and we like you. Lose. And, you get around in the torture and by the way, chamber. just like in the Xbox that version, we would normally fun. run the game yes. in French here sounds because of their fun. spoken dialogue yeah. here being Let much faster. Hear it. Yep. Um, it's it's almost an ongoing meme that we just run every Fable game in French result. after we found that TLC Three, was faster. Two, uh, Seamus, who's in chat, found that Fable 3 is fastest in English. Um, unfortunately for Fable 2, I think it makes no difference, moving, but moving, yeah. we could still probably run it in French from the meme, moving, so we could have... Moving. Le anniversaire français. Yeah, the French Fable. marathon. Move it, move it, move it. I, I probably butchered your language. I'm very sorry. Ah, it's fine. I mean, I'm I'm butchering yours daily, so. Oh, it's all okay. even. <laughs> all right. So here's there's um there's a little trick you can do, like kind of jumping onto this fence here. Didn't get it. Doesn't really save time, but it's fun. Bravo. All right. So we win the race. It's amazing. Welcome uh, we can mind. roll silently during the cutscene, <laughs> and then we're just going to sneak to the, the code, which is right there. The we get the code, and <laughs> we open the book, and sadly there's nothing in the book! That's very the sad. So we go back to the our cell. Bird. There you go. I mean, we get around in the, in the torture chamber, even though we well, won the race, well, which is well, quite unfair. Again, eh? But hey, you know, Stay can't get everything. There. And also, Not this guard is a, a bit lost. He's you talking to the wall. The wall. Yeah, his <laughs> position is like random every time. Them, eh? I don't know why, but he just like, he'll just look at random things or be yeah. in random spots. I think he's actually looking at you from the cutscene, because like on the map, um, like the the torture chamber from the cutscene is actually like over there. 
So maybe he's, he's just like watching you from the cutscene and he has no time to just turn or something. I don't know. Did I alt tab? I didn't. No. Monkey I didn't. Scum. Time to move out. It's race ah, time. All right, sorry. And you'd better put on a good show. No, I did. Some of face. us have bet a lot of money on you. Win, and we like you. Yes, I didn't. Lose, and you get around in the torture chamber. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yes, sounds fun. <laughs> Let me hear it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you've got Spotify, Big Law? What a shame. Alright, so that's our... Another race, another year. Or the other way around. How you like it, another year, another race. And we're gonna try to win again. And if we win again, this time we'll be able to get the key. Ooh, we got it. Ooh. But I didn't stay on it because I didn't trust myself. Keep running, scum! Alright. I call that running, smiley. The recital. So we're gonna roll again. There you go. And we're gonna just Gray sneak our way through. Oh, Gray is the prettiest. There you go. Trust yourself. Oh, Gray is and now we get the key, that's amazing. So we get the key, we skip the cutscene. Boom, we get the key. It's and the we're free! I mean, we're key. not free, totally free yet, because we need our spells and our sword, which is uh, the Solus Great Sword. Uh, <laughs> smiley, I totally did not forget to get Berserk 4, but that's fine. Uh, I mean, in fairness, you didn't have the XP for it, so... Yeah, I could have hotshot glitched it, though. That's what we would do. Yeah. But hey, my experience was a bit messed up because I got hit by the blades. <coughs> Those nasty blades. Alright, so here we go. Come here, you. The there you go. Oh. So we're gonna take our mom. Hey, what's up? Let's go. And she's gonna say, um, let's go. So let's go. What the Stop right there. And we're gonna try to escape as fast as possible. Oh, no, you. Ah, you all right. No. Wait. It's not all right, here we go. Friendly fire. Yeah, the guards are sometimes um, stupid. They're not really smart. They say the same lines a lot. They're and just doing their job. Yeah. It's actually kind of interesting because these guards, they don't give any good nor evil points for killing them. So, um, they're like one of the few like, main enemies in the game that don't give any because it's like morally ambiguous about killing them because on one hand they're doing their job on the other hand they're also like stopping you and working for the enemy. Alright, so now it's the Kraken fight. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a bit faster than the OG version again hey, because, oh, because I have... <coughs> I have inflames so I'm just um, destroying those tentacles very fast. And there you go. And I hope that... Oh, and I'm doing enough damage. Amazing. Yeah, and uh, my mom is gonna be... I mean, our mom, I guess, is gonna be <laughs> fine. Oh, A bit too early. And we're gonna kill the Kraken. And that was the Kraken fight. I'm gonna get rid of multi arrow for a trick coming later. And we'll escape the prison. <laughs> My mom, no yours, no mine. Alright, there you go. So that was it, prison 
a bit long, a bit boring. And now we're going to Barrow Fields. Because we have to go to Hook Coast, and to go to Hook Coast, I need to activate the Colors Gate, which is in Darkwood. Alright. <coughs> it makes sense. <laughs> I'll be afraid, Kraken. Exactly. Oh. Here's the troll from like 50 minutes earlier. Alright, maybe 40 minutes. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> They're going AFK. They're actually getting fried Kraken. So. Got summoned dead. We're gonna kill them with Enflame. Nice. That was really fast, actually. And now we're just gonna move through Oak Hook Coast. And actually, while I'm here, I'm actually gonna swap for the Solus Greatsword. Because I wouldn't do enough damage with Berserk 3 and uh, Aeon Sword to be able to skip some of his phases. But with Solus, I should be fine. Because we're fighting Maze soon. Our good friend Maze, who turns out to be a traitor and traps oh. our mom. So we're trying to save our mom right now. What? No. No. Oh, no. Alright, there we go. So she got captured, or whatever, and uh, now we have to fight Maze. You have reached a famous status. I have a quest card from your mother. Quickly, come to the map room and speak to me. Check it. There you go. A second time, can you believe that? <coughs> Alright, so, the Maze fight. Um, it's pretty precise. Um, you have to knock him down and when he stands up you want to hit him with all your might and because there's something odd about like him standing up we can basically like do more damage than what we're supposed to do and skip some phases. I'm gonna try to do that. Skip, uh, this skips a bunch of movements mm -hmm. and this is uh, pretty useful. You can also clip here. Um, there's nothing there. Alright, here we go. So that's Maze. We knock him down. And we hit him as he stands up. So we got it. Nice. Got stuck on the stairs. And there you go. So that was it, basically. Easy does it. So that's a, that's a clean fight. So that was Maze. And now we're going to try to... St Oof, that was a stupid TP. All right, never mind. We went to the wrong area. Ah, uh, SMH. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> We're going to speak to the guildmaster. There you go. Here's the guildmaster. Hello. And now we're going to stop Jack of Blades. We're going to try to. That's the name of the quest. Try to stop Jack of Blades. Oh, are we going to get the Jack kit? Please? All right, never mind. Alright, there you go. If you... Thank you very much. Nice. <coughs> oh, come on. Alright, so now I have to navigate through different areas with like a bunch of enemies spawning around. So I'm gonna side rush sometimes. Gonna try not to, but it always happens. So 
So there you go. Please, the door, thank you. So that's thunder. Nice. So it turns out there's like some kind of romance between like thunder, Lady Grey and me. But uh, uh, I'm kind of numb and I don't really see it. So I don't know. That is in flame. Very good demonstration now. There you go. <clears throat> All right, again. Who needs Lady Grey when you have Polly? That is very true. Ask Clean Sarah. Add Clean Sarah. All right. So that was it. We tried to stop Jack. Sadly, we didn't get it. And uh, now he's uh, he's got our sister, and he's in the Guild of Heroes because you know when you're like a bad guy, you obviously want to go in the only place where someone powerful could defeat you. So, oh please, can I just okay? Thank you very much. <coughs> and we're gonna fight. Some minions. Oh, okay. I didn't know what to do there, but there you go. So I can't skip this cutscene, and I didn't get big shot. There's um a trick you can do here called Big Shot because Big Law gets it like a lot of times. It's like pulling your arrow I think he right. Found it. Uh, <laughs> probably. Oh, please. Gonna kill my sister. It's a bit faster. Um. Save like a second. <coughs> the I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. So. Please. I want to go to the guild because I need to upgrade some things because I didn't after the arena. Here we go. Oh, there you go. <coughs> so I need force push four for a fight that's coming up. All right. And that's the like beginning of the Fable, the Lost Chapters part. Oh, didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, this is all new content from what you just saw in uh, the Xbox. I say just saw it, it was about an hour or so ago. Um, what he's going to do is he's going to block here, which reinitializes your movement a little bit and means you can actually move faster during these puzzles. Um, yep. I found it. I have no idea why it works, but it does. You can also punch or roll during the... Um, the fade in, which is going to come into play Sunny. on this next one if you can put it off. Yeah, right now. If I can I click fast enough, there you, there you go. As you can see, I just. Do a diagonal walk. Like, yeah. I move like diagonally, which allows me to take a different pattern that's a bit faster. Mm -hmm. so about two seconds. But in, all in all, us just blocking at the start once saves like nine or ten seconds because it like keeps that movement speed throughout the whole of the, uh, of the puzzle. All, all the puzzles. Ah, a noble move. All right. <laughs> so that's a true gentleman. nothing Just a few more. really exciting. Oh, please no. Thank you, oh, young don't man. do that. <laughs> Why do I know? No, it's got to be sunshine. And once we're over, it's we're going blues. to teleport to Hook Coast instantly, and we're going to climb the lighthouse. Care, and it's a very boring lighthouse. You've been practicing your, your lighthouse climbing skill though. Oh yes. That's actually why I did that yesterday. Yesterday I practiced climbing up the lighthouse a bit. Because um, it's not great. And yeah, sometimes um, the teleport menu is automatically set on the region where you have to go. 
So like right now, I just teleported to Hokos like instantly because I don't have to worry about where to put my mouse. All right, that's the lighthouse. That's terrible. There you go. <clears throat> good lighthouse, good RNG. There you go. Come on, we have so these oh creatures God. here are summoners, and they uh, they have a lot of health. But Solus oh. deals a lot of damage, so we're fine. We gotta get the one cycle. Yeah, I think. I believe. Oh, I've got multi arrow. Ah, that's why. All right, they're dead. Normally, if I go fast enough, I can skip the last like charging attack he's doing, but I was not fast enough, so I just. And also, if you're lucky, they they can just skip their death animation, which is normally like three or four seconds. They can just sort of jump backwards and immediately die. We don't know why, but it just hey, sometimes happens, and it's running. really annoying because it'd be there's quite a few instances where that'd be useful. So I'm running backwards so that he's just starting his pounding animation here. And I need him to pounce, uh, I don't know, yeah, hit the ground like 12 times and then I can damage him again. Oh, quick, a quick death, that's nice. So sometimes he gets a quick death animation just like here and saves a bit of time. Here we go. So if I were to run the game with a in game timer, I would use um, something called recall strats. So I would just TP to another area and then come back and the game would put me in a certain place depending on how close to a certain exit I was before TPing. And this way I could skip large parts of the maps <coughs> and I'd save um, in game time. So. I'm going to give a very brief, very simple explanation of how <laughs> dumb this is. So you walk to a certain point of the map, you teleport, you teleport back, that puts you at the end of the map, you enter that map, you walk a little bit more, you teleport and teleport back again, that puts you at another point in the map, you then start the cutscene that we just had with Scythe, and then you yeah. teleport again, and it saves like five seconds, and it's great. But... It's slower... It RTA. Yeah, with RTA, so... We're not doing that. So Speaking of, we've got Necropolis. Necropolis is really annoying. You have random, randomly selected gravestones. Only three of them are the right ones. We've got t Fung, George W. And, that's one. Um, oh, one. That's a useless berserk, but that's fine. Um, one out of three. Ah, oh, not quite. I was hoping for some god RNG, but... Um, yeah, there's 11 potential spots it can be at any given point, and you just have to check each one. So, oh, Ted Timmins? A game dev? Yep, shout out. Right there. Oh, alright. Big shout out. T Fong, that's the second oh. name. Uh, the third name is going to be. I think. The first one was George W, right? So we're looking for. Yes, I love it. I love it. Generally, a uh, good indication of like good RNG is uh, getting it before the bridge, but it also depends on where they spawn. Like, if you get all three at the start, that's obviously going to be the all fastest. Right, nice. They're all shuffled around. Ah, uh, not an RNG. Not the best. All right, I'm going to check this one for safety. There's an unreadable grave here. Oh really my god! Check, and it was there. And it was this one. The pit box are like. Yeah, like can't way. Really interact with it properly. Yeah, it's pretty weird. All right, so now we're gonna fight a few summoners. Oh, please. Uh, 
Oh, please? Oh, don't die. No, I'll pass. Don't do any. Come on, I've got physical shield on. This is physical shield. Thank you. Alright, never mind. So now we're going back and we're handing in the YMCA glyphs to Sith because those glyphs are actually like the signs they have on them are YMCA. And if you use them as expressions, you actually do the YMCA. Yeah. Fun times. Very forward thinking. Yeah. You have uncovered. There you go. Now I'm gonna fight three heroes because I need some souls. I'm, I need hero souls. The first the first fight is going to be Thunder. It's a um, very easy fight. It's the I think one of the only fight in the game without like health thresholds. Yeah, but annoyingly we can't actually kill him in one hit. It's like the one fight that doesn't have it, but we can't one hit him. Yeah, but he's still gonna die like really fast. Really quickly. Yeah. Now look, I won't. So yeah, because we're starting off, we do the evil side of it, and originally we did like all, all the evil side. So, um, oh come on, Thunder, Briar, the Guildmaster, but as you'll see later. There you go. So he dies in two hits. Not too hard. Oh. Oh, potions. You've got like. Do you have that arena soul? How many? Come back to the Under nine. Oh, it's 11. 11. and you've got two res files. Alright, here we go. That's gonna be fun. Alright, that's one. I don't know how many. You might have less, because you might have some health pots. You'll have to find me first. That's two. Alright, that's five! <laughs> We're so fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. You can do Dragon Jack with one potion or no potions. She's playing games with you. She deserves to die. Yeah. All right. There you go. Ooh, it's totally <laughs> fine. And it's totally night too. All right, here we go. How many potions are you on right now? Four? Three. Three. All right, okay, so what could... we can do is not use Berserk to save some potions. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the timer is at and how long it was paused for, but you should probably be fine. Yeah. Okay, honestly, not a bad idea, but... Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, you should be you should be absolutely fine. Like as long as you've got like one or two potions for Dragon Jack, you'll yeah. I I should use like what one potion for the fight right now, which is Nostro, and then yeah another one for Jack, which is gonna make the run pretty smooth. Using exactly the number of potions I need. All right, here we Perfectly go. Perfectly balanced. Yep, as all things should be. Oh, please. Oh, please. Where did my multi-strike go? All right, never mind. So. So we on two or one? Oh, I'm so fine. Two, I've got okay, two potions. Fine. Easy fight. Easiest fight of your life. Easiest fight of my life. Maybe not, but hey. Alright, here we go. Once more too late. Come to the bronze gate. We have a <laughs> I'm not using Berserk quite yet, because <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> I don't want Jack to like start flying in the air or anything, so. So that's gonna be one. Make sure to high frame the uh, yeah. bikes. Ooh. 
Dude, and there you go. Not even a problem. Yeah. Get ready on time, by the way. And... Time. It was Woo! a battle. There it was. So there was uh, Fable, the Lost Chapters on PC. Uh, any percent. <clears throat> so the last fight was um, a bit easy because I can just dodge his attack and just finish him off. Um, the tricky part was that I had like two potions left. And as you can see, Tak El Fung, he's right there, T Fung, from the graves earlier. Alright, and uh, that was it. <clears throat> so, um, I guess, Big Law. Should I Make sure to follow Raheem, by the way. He is a very, very skilled runner. Jimmy slash Raheem. Jimmy slash Definitely Raheem. go follow yeah. him because he's a very good lad. I think... Have you got affiliate or are you about to apply for it? Or about to get it? Excuse me? Uh, affiliate. Are you, have you gotten it yet or are you ready to get it or... Um, um, excuse me, I'm not like... I Twitch didn't... affiliate, you know, like... Ah, no, uh, I don't have it yet, but I don't know if I'm going to get it anytime soon. There we go. Follow Raheem. Make sure he gets affiliate. He's a very good <laughs> runner. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So if you want to see more of Fable speedruns, you can go on the Fable Discord. Um, you can find it pretty much somewhere on the speedrun.com website. Um, or any mod here will give it to you. And uh, I guess that it's going to be it, right? Cool. Thank you very much. Jargon. Yep. And uh, I guess see you, everyone. And I'm going to leave it to Big Law because we get the Fable 2 run coming up yes. right after that. Fable 2 ran uh, by... Uh, and I hope Darklight Book is going to get an amazing run. Yep. He I know will, it's a pretty it's long fine. run. It's like three hours, it's right? It's three hours, Something yep. like that. So get comfortable. Yeah, I think boys. it's under three hours for Fable 2, any percent glitchless run on the Xbox One by Darklight Boko um, yeah. in English. Yeah, he's also a, a French runner. Uh, I mean, actually a French-Canadian runner, but hey. French is uh, French. French Fable. The meme is still there. Yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, I guess that if we're still waiting... Uh, no, 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 I uh, want to go to the transition. Show anything fun? <laughs> uh, I kind of like um, long run about three hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, can I, I can like show... Um, I guess Bouncy Bridge for... Yeah, um, go for Bouncy <clears throat> Bridge. I think. So that can like... Alright, so... In the area right here, there's a a funny spot we call bouncy bridge because there's this bridge and there's a bouncy part to it and it's right there and when i run into it i can like kind of like bounce on it and if i run if i rush into it okay without any of these please thank you have a nice day rolls so rush into work. it yeah but rushes are yeah there you go yeah. they're a bit better um Basically, you can like get thrown back uh, very far away, and sometimes, yep, yeah, out of bounds. So here, again, we're out of bounds, and I can move. All right, here's Big Long. Yes, uh, I thought I was unmuted, and I was saying no, no, no. I want to go to transition. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, well. You just have to right. shout louder so we can hear you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you for putting on an awesome run. I don't know how long this yeah. run was paused for, but I'm pretty sure it's still sub 120, so... Yeah, it's probably underestimate. Yeah, yeah alright, so we'll just be going to a quick little splash screen, and we'll get Boko set up for some Fable 2 Andy percent Twitch.tv slash Raheem, go follow him. Go follow him. <laughs> you don't have to, but hey... <laughs> You managed to get all the, the big stuff nailed down. Yeah, yeah. Actually, like, this...